Hello, my name is Sarah Strothkamp and I'm an educator for the St. Louis Zoo. I want to know if you guys have ever been out in the woods and notice either large or small holes that are in trees or tree trunks. Have you guys ever wondered why those holes are there or what they could be? Hornbills are birds that build their nests inside of holes in trees. This kind of nest is called a cavity nest because cavity is another word for hole. Hornbills find a tree that already has a hole and they put leaves, grass, and feathers into the hole to make it soft and cozy. The mama hornbill gets inside the nest and closes up the opening with mud, poop, and fruit. She leaves a small space for the daddy bird to be able to stick his beak in and give her food. Once the nest is complete, she lays her eggs and keeps them warm and safe. In the wild, the moms will break out of the nest before the baby is ready to fly. The baby closes the opening of the nest back up, still leaving a small opening for mom and dad to feed them. At the zoo, the mom stays inside with the chick until it is ready to fly because the hornbills have plenty of food and don't need to go looking very far for it. Even after a baby bird is learning to fly, they still need help from mom and dad. They're not quite grown up just yet, so they're called a fledgling, until they can take care of themselves completely on their own. Why do you think hornbills close their nests so the mom and baby can't come out? How would that keep them safe? I bet it's much harder for a predator to get to them when they're in there. You can visit our hornbills at the zoo because they don't live around here. But we do have other birds here that also build cavity nests. They're woodpeckers. In Missouri, we have four kinds of woodpeckers that live here all year long. They are the hairy woodpecker, the downy woodpecker, pileated woodpecker, and the red-bellied woodpecker. Let's see how their cavity nests are the same or different than the hornbill nests. Have you ever seen a woodpecker before? They have a beak that is perfect for pecking trees to get their favorite food, insects. When they're ready to nest, woodpeckers use their strong beak to carve out a hole in a tree. This is hard work and can take a long time. So the mommy and daddy birds usually work together. Once the nest is ready, the mama bird lays her eggs inside and keeps them warm and safe. Some kinds of woodpecker dads help the moms do this and will even take turns sitting on the eggs and guarding them from predators. After they hatch, the mommy and daddy birds help take care of the fledglings until they're ready to go off on their own. What things were the same about the hornbill nests and the woodpecker nests? I noticed that both nests are built in holes in trees. How were the nests different? I noticed the woodpeckers didn't seal up their nests the way the hornbills do. How do you think woodpeckers stay safe in their nests? I would like to show you guys how to create a cavity nest at home. So you're going to need a piece of construction paper. You can use a paper towel tube or you can use some toilet paper and glue them together. I have some tape. I have a glue stick, I have a pair of scissors, I have some cotton balls, and then I did buy some different items at the dollar store, but you could use different sticks and leaves and twigs and maybe even some rocks that you find outside, maybe in their backyard or maybe if you go on a nature walk with your family. So the very first thing that I did when creating my cavity nest is I cut little holes in the very top and bottom to create branches and roots of my tree. The roots are now cut 
and the branches. So what I'm gonna do is fold them back. And as you notice, not all of my branches or roots are the same length. Because on a tree, not everything is the same. I'm gonna take some glue and I'm gonna glue it right in the middle. And sometimes you may have to use some tape just to make sure it's extra secure. Perfect. Next, what I did is I actually ended up cutting out a couple of different leaves, different sizes. I'm gonna glue the leaves on the branches. Next, to create a cavity nest, you might want a grown-up's help when you're doing this, but I'm gonna kind of pinch the cardboard together to kind of make it flat. And kind of cut out a little cavity or hole, kind of like that. Then, to make the inside of the tree, I thought that I could use cotton balls and stuff it in. Then, I'm gonna stuff in maybe some straw or some hay in, and then maybe a little bit of moss. There you go. If this were gonna be a hornbill, what we would do is we would cover the front. So, I'm gonna cut out a hole roughly or a circle the same size as my opening, but remember the hornbills have a little teeny hole in the middle. So what you're gonna do again is fold it and kind of make a little cut. And then I'm gonna add a little glue. So mine's having a little difficulty. So I have tape. And as you can see now, I have a hornbill nest. The female bird and the babies would be inside and then the dad would be coming and feeding the baby hornbill. You could also add in eggs inside if you wanted to and you guys could create a woodpecker's nest or a hornbill's nest because now we know there are different types of cavity nesters. If you guys wanted to, you guys could also add different art to the bottom. You guys can create whatever habitat you want around your tree. It is up to you. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this webinar. Again, my name is Sarah Strothkamp, and I look forward to our next episode of Nests. And I can't wait to show you more incredible different nests that all different birds make. And how we can not only find them in Missouri, but we can also find them in different parts of the world. Bye guys, thank you.